honor to the north, el grupo de Descatlipoca. I was also the rumbo of Mitlán, Mitlán Tecutli, and these times again that we celebrate the spirit world, that we celebrate the ancestors, people that passed away, the children, the women, the men, they already moved to Mitlán, we acknowledge them. Not so long ago, 125 unhoused, neurodivergent, terrified, traumatized by capitalism, destroyed by this system of colonial corporate development, were dragged out of this building that we're standing in front of so that this could be built. Me and Mommy used to sleep here because it was the only place where you could guarantee that there would be light and heat and you wouldn't freeze to death on the street. So we stand in front of the icon of development and the icon of removal. And we honor with love and respect and humility the ancestors who died because of that removal because when you are struggling in that deep of a level you do not make it but that's for limited time, right? Because you're disposable to them. No more displacement. I want to also bring the spirit of Papa Bear, um, who was uh, a former member of Poor Magazine, houseless brother, who had over 230 something tickets for being and sleeping and being existing in these streets of San Francisco. And he will speak about how he was swept and power washed in the sidewalks by uh, DPW, by other black and brown men saying, I'm just doing my job. I'm just doing my job. And so I want to bring Papa Bear, you know, who was so sweet, who even after he was being power washed and being kicked out. He would say, they're just doing their job. I just move it along somewhere else. May he rest in peace, Papa Bear. And we're going to continue around these stolen streets where east isn't really east and south isn't really south until we get to the mouth. And all she could say is, please, please, but not even that loud, she just whispered it before she was physically pulled out of the Transbay Terminal. Eight months later, she died on these streets. which is built off of the money that uses 
um, ICE and CPB to criminalize children and families in America. I want to give energy to them, the children, the oppressed, the victims. And that's, that's, what, that's what we're like to be called, like the victims. No. We're the indigenous, we're the original people of this land. Yes. Say we're the again. people who should be here. We are the indigenous, we are the original people of this land. We don't need to be studied, Mr. Benny Huff. We have solutions. We have them now. They're called hopefulness. They're called actual land liberation, Segurite Land Trust. First they came for the homeless. Where do we go, Berkeley? It's called self-determination, and we don't need a study, and we don't need a survey, and we don't need a non-profiteer, and we don't need a job. We just need a home. We're asking Mark Benioff to break off a million dollars, just one million of that $30 million study of our houseless bodies to build the second homefulness. Permanent housing. So we'll call it a special kind of study. The impact of housing on homeless people. Cut the police budget and put that money back in the community. Thank you.